There are woodworkers who say never, ever, ever climb cut with a router. And I wholly respect them. And there are woodworkers who say, sometimes you have to climb cut with a router. And I wholly respect them as well. I don't think that there's a right or a wrong answer to, can you climb cut with a router? I think you have to figure that out for yourself, whether you're comfortable with it. But most importantly, you have to be able to identify a climb cut. And that's what we're here to do today. What the heck is a climb cut? All right, so whenever people explain climb cutting, they're asking you to visualize this router bit spinning at a billion miles an hour. And it's kind of hard to do. So sometimes they'll get a router bit and show you that outside of the router. And that still is a little bit difficult for me to visualize what's happening. So I made this. It's a grossly oversized model of a router bit. But we're going to use this to see what's going on with the physics of a router bit while it's interacting with the wood you're cutting. Let's start with the proper direction to push a handheld router in. Hold out your right hand with your thumb sticking out. This thumb is pointing at the edge of the board you are cutting. Your pointer finger is pointing in the direction you need to push the router in order to do a conventional cut. So thumb out. I'm cutting this side, that direction, like so. If I was cutting this edge, this edge, right there, that way. So now that we got that conventional cut down, let's talk about what the router bit is doing when that happens. This is our router. It is spinning clockwise, because it's handheld. Thumb, finger, that direction. You can see that that bit is hitting and it is cutting wood, right? And the only thing moving it in this direction is me. There is no other force moving this bit forward other than me. Now, if we go in the wrong direction, this is going to bite and it's going to cut wood, but it is also going to propel itself the direction we're going. Some people might think, wow, that's nice. It's doing the work for me. Well, it's not doing it in a controlled manner. Trust me. If you are pushing the router in the wrong direction, you have to absolutely control it. And nine times out of 10, I recommend finding a way around it if you can. All right. So, you might say, fine, Ben, I will move my router from left to right along the workpiece. Yeah, not so fast. If you're cutting on the outside of a piece, yeah, left to right works really well. But if you're cutting on the inside of a piece, we put our thumb down, we could see that we need to go the opposite. We need to go clockwise like so. So quite honestly, every time I'm routing a profile, I put my thumb out and remind myself which direction to route. On the outside, counterclockwise. On the inside, I'm going clockwise. But it's worth taking a second and reminding yourself what the proper direction is. Let's pretend, or let's actually route this curve onto this piece. Since we want to route in this direction, I'd cut the majority of this out on the bandsaw, route that right there. But on this side, I'll just darken it so you could see it a little bit better. But if I go from here to there, I'm hitting that grain, I'm going uphill, and it's going to tear out. No ends, ifs, or buts. So what are we going to do? We could flip it over and use a bearing guided bit with the bearing on the other side and go that way. So now I'm gonna flip this piece over like so. 
And now I can run downhill from the grain, going in the correct direction, but I'm gonna do it with this bit referencing off this bearing. Let me load that up in the router and we'll get to work. We're able to go downhill, got a nice clean cut, relatively no tear out, fed the router in the right direction. Having a bit with two bearings is a great way of working your way around template routing and not having to climb cut. Now you know what a climb cut is, you're able to identify it, you're able to avoid it. The most important thing is have fun in your woodworking and be safe in your woodworking. Yeah.